right, good morning, Tyler. Good morning. Morning, Yak fam. It is like cold for Texas weather, but it is a beautiful day. It is really cold. Thank God Tyler has a GoPro mount. Mine's still coming in from Amazon. So my video is still going to suck a little bit. But at least I'll be able to get a few catches. Or a few video clips. Like this one. Obviously. So that's where we're going. Nice little flat area. And uh, stay tuned. Well, obviously we have the Breakfast of Champions rolling. We got a monster in the Red Bull. Joey's out there doing his intro. I figured I'd knock out mine real quick too. We're out here at Holiday Beach West, out at the kayak launch. Gonna be hitting up these small little lakes and cuts today. North wind, about five miles an hour right now. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a nice day. A little cool it's starting off at like 54 degrees but uh i think we'll manage oh it's nice size oh did i foul hook him <laughs> i fell hooked him i fell hooked the crap out of him it's a trap <laughs> Well, I caught this little guy. He smacked it, and I, I guess my bottom hook got right here on the side. So technically, it was a foul hook, but at least I caught a fish this morning. I've never tried this before, but the popping cork with a uh, put my anchor here real quick. The popping cork worked with the soft plastic under it. it absolutely worked right here we're out in about four and a half foot of water nice little little speckled trout nothing awesome by any stretch of imagination but he is a nice little fish he is much appreciated i did not get skunked today and not catch anything he hit it on the fall See if we can't catch another one. Another fish on. Another fish on. Right here. Another small one. You know what? fish yeah oh hey this is a little a little bit closer to keeper size right here a little bit closer there we go so I'm out here in about four and a half foot of water they're just hitting that bad boy on this popping cork. See if we can't do this again. It's a little school of them out here apparently. People said that this works. I've never done it before until today. It made me a believer. Made me an absolute believer. Yeah, right now it's uh, 9.05. It's a little bit of a uh, grass flat with a little bit of oyster shell mixed in out here. Starting to warm up a little bit. It's probably about 60 degrees right now. It's 
still a little cool. The wind's still moving along. It's pretty good. Oh, see more fish popping over here to my left. A little bit of a slick. Oh, another fish on. I got him. Oh, no. Nah. Missed him. Wasn't paying attention. I was looking away and he spit it. Story of my life. Got a fish on. Yeah. I'll take these small ones all day long. Still fish. Hey dude, uh, so far I caught three trout. They're all about 13 inches, but a uh, popping cork with the soft plastic under it's working really good out here. He has now been informed. That's what a good fishing partner does. Let's let's partner know. Hey, get some fish over here. You never know, we might actually get something a little bit bigger. Fish on. We got, got a little trout. Oh, there he went. Looks like Tyler got himself one on. Fish on. This one might be a little bit better one. I don't know. Coming at the boat pretty quick. light tackle. It's an inexpensive rod and reel here. Oh yeah, nice trout. Nice trout. That's what's about right there. Right there. Look at that trout. I'm just gonna try to bring it right in the boat. Woo! That's what it's about. Yeah buddy. That's what it's about right there. You just keep on plugging away. That's a nice little trout. Try to keep my reel out of the water. hitting these on the fall and there we go that's a nice awesome shot dude that bat that's Don't a fat girl right there yeah buddy that's all about right there this trout nice female well, how'd that feel, Mr. Tyler? Dude, I've never used a popping cork and a soft plastic under it before. And it's his favorite little soft plastic too. It's not even a DOA, like a mock-up shrimp. Nah, man, these are uh, these are some cheap Walmart ones I got just the other day. Oh. They work. Chartreuse and white, a little bit of uh, like a root beer. A little bit of root beer. Tell you what, how yeah. big was it? Did you measure? I didn't even measure. He was so excited he didn't even see how big it was. Nope. It ain't always about how big they are. I'm not going to keep her anyway. 
It's just the way you use it, right? Get the fish on. Like the boat. She doesn't like the boat at all, dude. Oh, another nice little trout, man. Yeah, buddy. These trout are loving this. I'll make sure I give everybody a full rundown of what I'm using. Water's starting to get cold, so these big trout are starting to come in. Nice fat. Oh, lost them. There he goes. Dang it. That's all right. I landed them at the boat. Just couldn't pull it off. Dude, it's going to be catch and release anyway. I had all the fun right there. Right. There we go. There you go. Fish on. Fish on, man. Fish on. Looks like he's pulling you around. Tyler said net time for this guy. Look at there. Awesome. Awesome. He spit the hook too. <laughs> Awesome fish, buddy. Awesome fish. Got it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, but look at him. He's halfway through the net. Awesome fish, buddy. Awesome fish. Now I just got to get him out of it. You know, that right there is a nice little trout. He was trying to get out of this thing. Dude, he was fighting hard against that net. Get out of it. There we go. That right there. That and a popping cork. You can do that all day long. There she goes. Dude. See if I can do that again. Fish on. Small one. Yeah, it's a small one, but you know what? I still got a fish. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. You know. Smooth <sighs> trout. So now I know my lesson for the day. That right there. You don't have a popping cork with you? Uh, yeah, I actually do. But I got a couple extras. You no, know, I have one, but I need to get it set up. There we go. Dude, put a dang popping cork on already and you'd be catching some fish. That's all right, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, it hit it hard, man. It may not be a big fish. Either that or it's hauling ass right towards me, but it hit hard. He is beating my butt. Oh, yeah, that was a nice trout. I gotta stop bringing him with me. He outfishes me. There we go, dude. There we go. All right, there. Another keeper. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, buddy. Hey, how many trips have we made so far? How many times have I caught more fish in here? Three times. Okay. So. First time we both just absolutely messed up. Not that, not that I'm counting. Not that I'm counting. Yeah. Second time, I whooped your butt. And this time, and the last time, and the last time before that, you whooped my butt. Okay. Just checking. I mean, I wasn't keeping score or nothing. No, I'm not either. Yeah, well. I just, I just wanted to know where we're at. Hey. Just so y'all know, you can catch gaff top apparently as part of a Texas slam. No, no, it's still a redfish flounder. Oh, and, no, man, I'm, I'm gonna go with gaff top. And, and the trout, yeah, no. Definitely go with the slimy. Look at the slime, no. This is not what I'm trying to catch out here. Thanks a lot, Joey. You're welcome. All right, guys. So this morning, we did pretty well. Uh, caught some trout. Didn't catch any redfish. Ended up catching a big gaff top. Not what I was expecting to catch this morning. But nonetheless, we landed him in the boat. A um, couple quick things. Lure I'm using today for the most part. It's an H&H. &H. It's a Cocoho. All right. It's an albino pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. I mean, it's got a white bottom on it. Absolutely great little lure. You can buy them at Walmart. They're not expensive when it comes to soft plastics. I think these are like a couple bucks. That right there with the chartreuse, uh, one eighth ounce jig head, just laid them all day under a popping cork. Make sure you try it. I, I was very, very skeptical of a popping cork and a soft plastic underneath of it. I'm telling you right now, after today, I'm a believer. Total believer. Try it. Think we had a good day fishing? We had a great day fishing. I mean, we're out here, we're not at work. Had a blast. Landed, what, three trout over 20 inches, roughly. Right around that 20 inch mark, maybe a little more. I didn't officially put them on, uh, on a measuring tape, but it is what it is, all right? So, glad y'all got to, you know, see us catch a little fish. Hopefully it'll inspire y'all to go back out, catch a little fish too, all right? Appreciate it, y'all have a good one. Oh, he definitely beat me today, for sure.